Elon Musk and Grimes have publicly announced their separation on Friday Just Gone, which is two days ago from the time of me filming this video. Now, Musk has been amazingly successful at so many different aspects of his life, but sadly, love is not one of them, especially with a new one-year-old baby, Xash, who uh, is in the picture. That means that Musk now has six children from his previous relationships, uh, which are from three separate mothers. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the underlying assumption that Musk has that keeps leading to the failure of his relationships. And maybe if he did address this assumption somehow, then that would lead him to more success in the future. I'm going to be making this from the perspective of not a tabloid or a newspaper who uh, just kind of sensationalizing it, but as a doctor and as someone who is just genuinely interested in the life of Elon Musk. I've made so many videos about him, his Asperger's syndrome um, on my channel, and I spent a lot of time researching and understanding his personality, his psyche, his mindset. Um, and I feel as though this is kind of one big thing that he has that he needs to get past so that he can try and make this area of his life as successful as the other areas of the life that he has right now, which are going so well, Tesla, SpaceX, etc. The list goes on, as I'm sure you know. So the first thing is that back in 2017, Elon Musk had broken up with Amber Heard, which was someone he truly loved. And at the time, he had an interview with the Rolling Stone magazine, and he mentioned something critical there, which describes his mindset. He said that as a child, I always said, I never want to be alone. And he stressed that, and repeated it again. He then went on to say that he hates sleeping alone at night it kills him and that he can never be truly happy unless he's in love and in a long-term relationship. There's a lot to dissect out there, but I'll pick out the main mindset point from that. Now, I want to just help you understand that Elon Musk has Asperger's and Asperger's indicates that people kind of have obsessive personality traits, they like repetition, and they find it difficult to detach themselves to something that they have focused on. So Musk has said from his childhood years, it's deep in his programming, that he wants to not be alone. Now, another thing that he also wants, as we can see from his selection of partners, is that he wants the women that he is in a relationship with to be fundamentally as successful in their given careers as he is in his. Doesn't mean that they have equivalent wealth, but that they are really doing very well in their field, whether that's acting, music, uh, art. He, he wants an accomplished woman. Now, what comes with accomplished women? A lack of time for personal activities. Successful people are busy people. So combine those two things. First, you've got a person who does not want to be alone. But then you've also got the fact that Musk wants a partner who is successful and attractive. The two really struggled to meet in the middle. Because if he wants someone that to follow him and be around to kind of take on his schedule, it's gonna be difficult. And this was the exact reason that Musk quoted that their breakup was because of. He said, it's mostly that my work at SpaceX and Tesla requires me to be primarily in Texas or traveling overseas and her work is primarily in LA. She's staying with me now and baby X is in the adjacent room. It's difficult, it's difficult. So I think Musk really needs to try and get over that if 
is going to make it work for future relationships. That being said, even if space wasn't an issue, there were some other interesting things to note that have come out from Musk and Grimes' interactions in public. So would they still be together even if they were in the same place? Let's go into it deeper. Take a look at this video that happened when Musk walked in on Ash Nico and Grimes' Instagram live stream. Oh, is this? I released a song with Ash Nico. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. It's about crying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Musk didn't even know that she had released a song with Ash Nico, which means that he obviously doesn't have time to kind of get involved in her personal life and she doesn't have the time to share it with him, it seems. I mean, releasing a song for an artist is a big deal, especially if they're at the top of their game, which she is, I mean, she's very successful. Uh, so she would have been working on that for a very long time. How do you hide that from a partner that you're living with? You know, you must have very little contact together for that to be the case. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Later on in the Instagram live stream, they uh, start talking about bidets. Bear with me, I know, it's a weird conversation. <laughs> but basically, they, they talk about um, these Japanese bidets and how they have complex features. And so for the first time, Musk starts sharing a story about this kind of complicated user interfaces. Take a look. Mm. I have a complicated user interface. I bet a lot of people have gotten an accidental bidet from those machines. It just feels... <laughs> they weren't expecting it, Miss Press Wrong Button. I don't, think people are... I don't think people are accidentally using bidets. Look at Grimes' response to that. She says, uh, I don't think people are accidentally using bidets. I don't think people are accidentally using bidets. You know, it, it came across as a bit confrontational like she was sh she shut him down straight away and keep in mind that was the first time that he had contributed okay so you could think nothing of it maybe she's angry she's in a mood or or something like that um, but it, it came across as slightly disrespectful from that perspective not just on its own but when in context with this next clip to see how she reacts when ash nico then goes on to say something an accidental bidet would be quite shocking. <laughs> yeah, quite a shock. Yeah, quite a shock. Do you see how she just perfectly mirrors then what Ash Nico is saying? Like, she kind of goes directly on with it, even though she didn't, she, you know, when Musk was saying it, she didn't find the concept funny at all. She just shut it down. She's like, why are you saying things like that? You know, but then Ash Nico does and all of a sudden she's going along with it and it's fun. It's like, oh yeah, that would be shocking. I don't think people are accidentally using bidets. Yeah, quite a shock. You know, the flip side between the responses is quite remarkable on the same kind of topic. Um, so it just goes to show that, yeah, she, she really was not feeling his vibe. It, it, comes across like he's the awkward stepdad in that conversation and she is is not really trying to change that. She's actually perpetuating that image, um, which is not healthy for a relationship. The next thing is that people say that opposites attract, that you need to be with someone who really kind of fills in the stuff that you're not so good at. So the fact that Musk is a scientist and that Grimes is really an artist at her core, even though she's interested in anime, she's interested in, in memes and those kinds of things. She's a musician. There was a study done back in 2017 by Barnes et al, which was published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. And they found that friends and people in romantic relationships with each other, when they were quizzed on different personality traits, uh, different ways of looking at the world, they had an 86% similarity. So that goes against the kind of popular idea that opposites attract. That is a myth for sure. Can you make it work if you're opposite? Absolutely. Does it make it harder? 100%. We are attracted to people who are like us. That's why we are naturally 
tribalist type people and it's why we form countries and <laughs> that's why even in a multicultural society people tend to form like you know little Italy and Chinatown and those kinds of things we like people who are similar to us and you know while Musk was out there coding as a as a child and making blaster <laughs> at 11 years old Grimes a wasn't even born yet and and B when she was younger she used to break into abandoned houses and graffiti the walls with her friends back in the in the day when I would like be in Montreal and just like fucking hole up and like break into some building and hole up with friends and just like graffiti on the walls and just be in there for like 24 hours or something and just have like a, some crazy one or two day like thing which is ages away from where Musk is kind of psychology wise interest wise and mentality wise it's a completely two ends of the spectrum so for those reasons I think that it was very unlikely relationship to be successful long term obviously there is a child now x ash a12 um kind of archangels what they, what they call the a12 bit um and who knows i think it seems like the, the grimes is taking more of a maternal um and, and main role in the upbringing of the child for now but they've said that it's going to be more split later on Either way, I wish them both the happiest of lives moving forward. It can always be sad when people announce a breakup because you know we always want love. We always want people to succeed wherever they are. But if it is not right, then this is the right thing to do because it will get them closer to a relationship which does work for them and give them both exactly what they need and I hope that is what they find indeed and they both deserve it, they're hardworking people. I hope you enjoyed the video and it shed some light on why Elon Musk's relationships have failed multiple times in a row. If you have enjoyed it please hit me a like down below, it does mean the world to me um, and you can subscribe for more good content. I answer all of your health questions and suggestions so ask me anything and I'm more than happy to make a video on it. Stay happy, stay healthy and take care. Peace.